Hello, I'd like to quickly explain relationship participation to you. Um, so, when we are designing databases and looking at ER diagrams and looking at EO diagrams, um, there are two terms that you need to know about for advanced hire, and they are um, mandatory, if I can, mandatory and optional. Um, so, we talk about the participation of an entity in a relationship. It just means does it have to be there? Do we have to have a record in it, in mandatory, or do we not necessarily have to have one? It's a, a bit hard to explain in words. I think it's a bit easier with examples. So here is a very quick example. So we've got a customer entity, we've got an order entity. Now let's look at order, um, well, let's look at them both first. In order to create a customer record, does the customer need to have an order in place? No. And that is why order is an optional entity. Meanwhile, in order to create uh, a record in the order entity, do I need to have a customer in place? Yes, because customer ID is in there as a foreign key. We need that piece of information to create uh, the order. Therefore, customer is mandatory. We have to have that in order to add something to its related entity. Whereas order is optional, we don't have to have anything in there in order to create something in the related entity. Okay, uh, let's quickly look at uh, the notes here. So this is the notes booklet. You can see it's also referred to as optionality sometimes, but uh, SQA call it relationship participation. There's an attempt to explain it here. Frankly, uh, I find it a bit hard uh, to do in words, but what's important um, is how we indicate them on an ER diagram. So, an ER diagram, mandatory, we put a little perpendicular bar through the, the relationship line, the connecting line, and optional, we put a circle. Now let's just have a look at a couple of examples quickly. They're right here. So, um, first one. So, every project must be managed by a single department. Now, we could we could sort of read whatever we like into that in terms of the cardinality of the relationship. So one to one, one to many, many to many, um, and I've sort of made an assumption here. But the the point is here: a project must be linked to a department. So in order to add a record of a project, we need to have. A department there. We need to link it to a department. So department's mandatory. Okay. Um, meanwhile, a department might have to work on a project. It might not have any projects. That's my interpretation of this. So therefore, project is optional. We can create a record for a department without having to link to a specific project. Okay. Project's optional there. Oh, that's fairly clear. Let's look at the second one. Um, so, here we go. Uh, employees may be assigned to work on projects. So again, cardinality, well, that's up for debate. Um, but certainly here, I would say, so an employee might be assigned to work on a project, but perhaps they won't be assigned to work on a project. Perhaps they're doing other stuff. In that case, we can create an employee record and they don't have to be linked to a specific project. Project is optional there. Okay. Um, the other way around, um, again, I'm making a bit of an assumption here, but uh, a project must have at least one employee assigned to it. So in, if that's the case, as per my assumption, then employee is mandatory. So to create a record in the project entity, we have to have an employee to, to link it to. Okay, and notice in both of these, so mandatory, it's just the line there, optional. And in this case, what what we can also see from this ER diagram is that's a one-to-many relationship. Okay, and here, um, this ER diagram indicates a many-to-many -many relationship, but employee is mandatory and project is optional in the relationship. Okay. Uh, one last thing, I'm going to look at just one of the tasks actually, I'm going to use it as an example so you won't have to do it, the last one will do. Uh, so 
you're expected to be able to look at an EO diagram, Entity Occurrence Diagram, and use that to identify whether things are mandatory or optional. So here I would say, if you look at, um, well, let's look at the way things go here. Um, in the town cities, four of them link to cathedrals, but one of them doesn't link to a cathedral at all. So in that case, I would say cathedral is optional. Okay, it's clear the town cities don't have to link to a cathedral. Okay, so cathedral is optional. Meanwhile, every cathedral here links to a town or city. Um, in that case, based on the information we've got here, we are saying that town must be mandatory. Every cathedral has to link to a town. Okay, uh, that's all for now. You can try some uh, tasks. Thanks.